Hello there. Today we'll be looking at the ultrasonic distance sensor. And by the end of this tutorial, you'll be able to program an Arduino to detect different distances using an ultrasonic distance sensor and to pro program a certain output to happen uh, when a certain distance is detected. Uh, the main part of the lab we'll be looking at uh, will be similar to this. We'll be able to print to the serial monitor uh, different values based on what our distance detects. Awesome. So let's, uh, I'll, I'll be using uh, this Tinkercad circuit here to, to simulate. And um, I also have some help from Blockly Arduino uh, with some of the coding. So first off, let's build our circuit. Let's grab our Arduino. I'll drop one in there. And we could use a breadboard. Um, in this case, we don't also need to. Um, we'll be using the, the one with four pins. Make sure we grab this one, not the other one. Um, we see that we have, we zoom in right here. We have the VCC, that's for voltage, trigger, echo, and ground. So we'll just go plug in VCC right down to five volts and color that red. We know what it does. And we'll plug this guy into ground. And the trigger echo doesn't really matter. Uh, it could be any two pins, usually either than the zero and one. Um, I'm going to go trigger to not one to two and echo to three perfect so that's it for for the circuit so far um now what we need to do is to do some of the coding so particularly look at the lab and i'll post this in the comments section and it just kind of goes through what you need goes through the setup um you know usually i like to use this blockly arduino program and we always set up with a uh, start with the setup in the in the uh, the loop forever um, I, I find it's a good way to to learn kind of the text and the block and we see both going on. The problem is, for some reason, um, their distance sensor doesn't work. I haven't been able to get it work. If you get it working or you find one, if, if you're able to, uh, you know how to make a new block of code uh, within Blockly Arduino, please tell me in the comments. Um, I would love to know. I'm trying to figure that one out and I'll update this video once, uh, once I do. Uh, but in the meantime, um, what we're going to do, we're going to do kind of a combination between this block layer Arduino and just the basic text coding. So um, the ultrasonic distance sensor, really, this is the function right there. Okay, this is the function that uh, we'll be using along with this line of code. Okay, so I'll show you what this looks like. We'll, we'll go over here, we'll just grab this function, control C it. Again, I'll post that down in the comments. Um, and we'll go back to our Tinkercad circuits where we can simulate it. Go to code, make sure it says text. And what we're going to do, we'll, we'll just delete kind of the default that they have. They always have that the blinky code. We don't want that garbage. And I'll paste that right at the top. Okay, so that's going to be our function. The next thing that we want to grab is this line of code. And um, one thing that we notice, we see that there's two and three, and this two and three refer to the trigger pin and the echo pin. So it says int trigger pin and echo pin. These are two variables that are being created right here, two integer variables. And so the trigger pin refers to, you got it, wherever we plugged in the trigger. So in our case, let's go back to here. We see trigger is two, the orange one. Wire and the yellow wire is echo, that goes to three. So we grab this line of code, and this is where we want to pop it down in the loop section, okay? So anytime that the, the code gets to this point, it jumps up to the function up here. I have a video on functions. You can look that one up as well if you want to learn a little bit more about that. But this one here, so it takes, uh, takes this read ultrasonic distance sensor uh, distance function, it sets a trigger to two, echo to three. It goes through it and it returns a long. So a long is a, um, yeah, it, it, it returns a value, right? A number. And, and then it multiplies it by uh, this, this factor right here. And that gives us the distance in centimeters, okay? So what I would do right now, um, I would go and create a variable and just call it distance okay and down here what I do I'd say distance equals this 
Okay, so now anytime I see this distance value right here, um, it will give me the distance in, in centimeters. And if you want to do conversions, you can do the conversions to inches and all that sort of stuff. Uh, I'm sure Google, Google can help you out with that. So uh, what I want to do, the challenge in the lab here is to write a program that uses the distance sensor to read a distance and print the distance to the serial monitor. So if you forget how to do the serial monitor, you don't know how to type in the code right here. Um, this is where the block layer Arduino comes into play. And so I go down to serial communication. And first thing we always need to do is to initialize our setup speed. And this kind of initializes the communication between the Arduino and the computer. And, when, and 9600 seems to be the uh, a good one to the kind of the default. And what we want to do is print out some text and then the value of our variable. So what I'm going to do here, I'm, oh, I'm just going to create a, a dummy variable. And I'll call it distance. And what I'll do, I'll set, I'll just write set, uh, set distance to blank. Okay. And you see right here in the text, it has this. What's going to happen? I'm going to copy this line right here and just paste it over that zero. So if we go back right here, uh, what I want to, what I want to do here is just, I'll just type in, um, what, what text do we want in our serial port? We'll just say distance with a space. Uh, with the following number, we want to print out the value, um, our variable. And this is where we can grab this guy right there. And do we want a new line? Um, you know, I'm going to go false because I like to always include units. And we'll print line, da, 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 print, tab, print line, there we go. And what, yeah, what we could do here is grab one of these guys and type in base CM. Okay, and we can tell right here, that this, is, this will print a new line. So what will happen, it'll print out CM um, and then it'll print a new line. So we're gonna print out distance colon space, the variable, what it's detecting, and then space CM. So let's try this out. So we'll copy this. We'll go down here. And this can get a little messy, I know. Um, let's actually paste it down here. This will be easier. So we'll paste it down there. We only want one loop and one uh, setup. So let's delete that guy. Um, let's actually take this line of code and paste it over the zero. Make sure there's only one semicolon. Delete all that. And I already declared the variable int distance up there at this top, so I can just delete that. And that's just in case you did not do that. And this should work. So let's try this out. So we'll start, and again, on Tinkercad um, circuits to see our serial monitors down there. And we can pull that up. And yeah, so we can see our distance changes as we move. Um, to read diff different distance values. And you notice it's not, not the same. Well, it's close, right? And so there could be different uh, discrepancies, or maybe because I'm using the integer for distance and, and they might have kept the long, I'm not totally sure. But it's close enough. Okay, cool. And if we were you know, trying this out with Arduino IDE, I just want to make sure I show this to you. I would select all here. Let's copy our code. Let's go to the Arduino IDE. We can paste over this. And if I were to upload this to my Arduino, I have one set up right here with, uh, with the distance sensor. Um, we always have to make sure that our port, we go tools port, make sure that it has, uh, we have the right port selected. It's always the one with Arduino in brackets. And let's upload this. And I just want to show you here that I'll get the same reading with a real life circuit, real life distance sensor. We hit serial monitor there on the top right. And there it is. Okay, awesome. Uh, one thing that I noticed with some of these distance sensors, I guess this is the distance to my ceiling. Um, we noticed, we, we, I saw a couple of large values there. So sometimes if I get too close to it, right now my hand's right on the sensor, uh, it's reading like 3200. That's a lot further than one of these things can actually read. That's beyond their range. Um, so if you are doing a program where you say greater than uh, and and uh, you actually get into contact, so it should be zero. It just doesn't read that zero, right? So it's always gonna be a little bit greater than zero. So you always wanna keep that in mind when you're creating your program, okay? So today we looked at using the distance sensor and we use the 
serial monitor to print out the value. How could you take this further? Well, you could uh, use maybe some different if statements, and I have this in my part two of my lab, is to connect it to a couple motors uh, using the Adafruit motor shield. And when you're, you know, you're kind of looking for a target, for example, maybe you'll be scanning left or right. So when you, when uh, it's, it's, you know, when the, the sensor is greater than 50 centimeters, maybe you want to turn one wheel forward, one wheel backwards, that way you turn around at a slow speed. And then when you sense something, then it's kind of a charge, you go full speed ahead. So this would be uh, kind of taking this further. Thank you.